Hey kids and welcome back to Plantation Bay. Uh, we're going to go into Plantation Bay City because I am going to show you guys the adopt -a hood program as I'm calling it, um, which I announced last episode. So that's where you can submit a comment and have your have a neighborhood or a station or a park or a major street or really whatever you want. Everything's nameable uh, in SimCity 4, all the little buildings and everything named. Uh, you can name it in the comments uh, and and I will name it on the map. So I have had a fairly good number of responses. What have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six people. Um, six people gave names for me to put on the map, so that's really great. I'm going to do that now. Um, I, this episode I'm going to do it on screen. Uh, just because I, you know, I want to show you guys that I that I'm I'm reading those comments and and I'm you know actually doing what I said I would do. Uh, depending on how the flow of the next episodes goes and stuff like that, if more people suggest neighborhood names and stuff, uh, and if I get a lot of them, especially, uh, I may do it off screen and then kind of show you guys quickly because it does take time. But we'll see. Uh, quick note on that matter, if you're if you're following these videos on Simtropolis or maybe you're finding them on Reddit and stuff like that, that's awesome. Um, you know, it's I've had some great conversations with folks on Simtropolis. It's a really great forum and it's one of the best places to get information about SimCity 4 for sure. Uh, it is good uh, if you guys comment on the YouTube page. Uh, it, helps, it helps me keep things organized and have all the comments in the same place. And it's also, I'll be perfectly honest, it's, it's good for the, the, the YouTube algorithm that, that gets my, well, eventually, presumably, maybe, get get views for these videos. So, so yeah, uh, but by all means, like, comment on the videos in Centropolis, uh, Reddit, or wherever you see them. But uh, but if you want to name the neighborhoods, the best place to do it is here. I, I'll, I'll answer you anyway. Regardless, I'll answer you anyway, and I'll probably just say, "Hey, do you want to do mind dropping a comment on the YouTube page?" And that's you know, that's just kind of kind of how it is. So let's start though. Uh, first, the first answer I got, I'm going to start with that. Uh, Gail Rogers, uh, who's commented on a few videos, uh, wanted to name a neighborhood Galeville and an, av uh, an avenue uh, Rogers Avenue. So let's see what we can find here. Um, maybe. Someone, someone asked specifically for the West End neighborhood, so let's see what we got here. Let's go. Let's let's put uh, let's put Galeville. It'd be nice to put the avenue and the name of the neighborhood in the same place. I'm not going to put all of your names in Plantation Bay City. I'm going to also put them in other neighborhoods. And so feel free to specify if there's a particular area that you like and that you imagined having your name. Let's call let's call this Gale Galeville. Yes, let's do that. Uh, I like it because it's almost it is sort of like an almost an independent city being across the water and it's right at the moment it's only connected by rail. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna be building bridges possibly this episode if not the next. And then Roger Roger Avenue. I know that this is strictly speaking not an avenue in the game, but it is it is the main street of Galeville and I may it is a fairly likely candidate to be widened and upgraded to an avenue. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Wait a second though, what I wanna see is Roger Avenue. Will it appear Oh cool, it appears in the diagonal. I haven't used that tool in a, in a in a while, or I haven't used it on a diagonal anyway in a while, so that's really cool. So yeah, um, I know that the street names are not that visible, but I'll try and zoom in every once in a while, and I'll try and sort of name drop things as we go along. I can also do a, put a second one up here so that we have a sense that that this street. The other thing that's cool too is if I extend it into the neighbor city, I could also name it there and have have the same street name kind of continue from neighborhood to neighborhood. So we'll see, we'll see. I guess it'll depend on the case, to be honest, uh, where where it is, how it runs through the city. But yeah, so Roger Avenue runs through Galeville from the ferry to probably there'll be a neighbor. I'm imagining a neighbor connection here for sure. So that's going to be a pretty major street, no doubt. Um, yep, okay. Next, uh, Just and Cheese suggested, the username is Just and Cheese, suggested that I name uh, an in a street in an industrial area, Dusty Street. You know what? I'm going to hold off on that one. We're going to go next door to, um, to, to the Inner Bay, where there are plenty of industrial streets. There are some here, but uh, yeah, no. 
He also asked for Cheesy Place, which is hilarious. So let's let's find a... Maybe we'll grab one of these little triangle squares up here. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a small, uh, it's a small square, but, uh, maybe this, this, uh, combination of parks can sort of have that. Now, I mean, I guess Cheesy Place could also be a building, but... Eh. Tell you what. We'll do that. Make it historical. That's kind of a cool commercial building. I should, uh, I, I, I should, uh, part of the reason I wanted to do this naming thing is that I want to spend a little bit more time kind of zooming in and looking at the places in the city. I know I've been kind of building on a macro level. So yeah, cheesy place. Medium wealth commercial services. Looks like it's basically a department store. Very cool building. I really like that. I like a lot of the vanilla art in this game. You know, I, I don't have a lot of mods installed right now that, um, add a lot of buildings to the game, and I will. I will at some point. I'll, um, I'll get to that for sure. Um, Justin Cheese, I believe... Okay, no, yeah, that's it. So Dusty Street, I gotta do that one. You know what? I need to, like, grab a pen and start ticking these off. Right. Galeville, Roger Avenue, Cheesy Place. Let's see. Now, Chong Hung Sang, um, 3002. I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your username. Um, it pointed out that the last day that I uploaded a video in this series, it was Mother's Day and said that I should name something after my mother, which I think is a great idea. I should have thought of it. Uh, I did call my mother on Mother's Day. Although, to be perfectly honest, I called her, got into a long conversation, and then forgot to say Happy, mother Happy Mother's Day and had to text her back afterwards. So, make, make of that what you will. Uh, this is a colossal male... I think it's a male mayor statue, but can I... Do I have the... Sometimes you can swap them out. That reward is kind of weirdly broken. The statues? Uh, no, I don't think I can. Hmm. Well, that was my that was my instinct was the square, but I'm realizing that's a statue of a of a man, and that's that's a bit weird. Tell you what, guys. I said I was going to delete these cemeteries. I'm going to delete it. And. I'm going to... I'm just going to fill this in with grass for now. Oh, that's going to take a while. Uh, this park is going to be... I'm going to spend some time designing this park. But I will name it... Maybe we can call it a common. You know, like how those New England cities and... Like New England cities have commons in the center, like Boston Common. It's like sort of an old English thing. Yeah. So let's call this Martha's Common. Right. Awesome. Next. Uh, Tyler Harris recommended that I call a neighborhood. Oh, I wish I'd written down the actual comment because it's quite funny, but you guys should look it up. Uh, he recommended that I call a, a, a kind of rich neighborhoods Cameron Village and that I c it kind of get gentrified and have a whole food and not have much of an identity. And I think I've got... Well, this is Galeville. I don't think there's room for another neighborhood in Galeville. But yeah, I was what I was thinking is that I would find like a poor neighborhood and then I'll gentrify it and it'll be like this silly gentrified neighborhood. And so yeah. I think a good spot for that is actually in the west end here, or the west side, or whatever we're going to call it. And yeah, we've got kind of an industrial neighborhood here, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to like gentrify an industrial neighborhood, and and that's I'm going to I'm going to go with that. So let's call this Cameron, and that was the idea too. He 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 recommended like one of those like horrible, expensive inner city neighborhoods that thinks it's cool just because it has like fancy stores and stuff. Uh, but we're gonna call it Cameron, and then when I make the neighborhood nicer, like maybe when we get rid of some of this industry or whatever, it'll I'll change the name to Cameron Village. Um, you know, you know, like that's what real estate agents do in a city when they when they want to like when they when they when they take a neighborhood that's very unfashionable and then they they want 
like rich people to buy houses there. They they change the name of it or they make the name of it sound fancy. Like, you know, south of Houston turning into like Soho. They just invent these neighborhood names for, for neighborhoods that just weren't named that before. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. Um what else have I got here? Uh Raphael uh, Zerate, I hope I'm reading that right. You know, to be honest, I wrote, I like wrote these down on a piece of paper. So if I'm, if I'm pronouncing your name right, I'm, I'm just because I wrote it in a really bad scrawl. Anyway, um, Raphael suggested that I name the West End neighborhood here Hotville because of the big train station I built last episode. Uh, I'm very happy with this train station, and yeah, there's going to be a lot of, lots of traffic moving through here for sure. Yep. Uh, let's see here, road traffic, pedestrian, bus, subway, yeah, definitely a busy, uh, busy stretch for sure. Um, so let's, let's take this guy, where is it, there it is, let's uh, delete this one. It's a bit weird to delete them, you just like clear the text. And we'll call this Hotville, and we'll name the station. Hotville Station. Yeah. Okay. What's next? He also recommended that I take one of those commercial buildings that has the spinning pizza on it and make it historical and call it Pizza Planet, uh, which which I'm happy to do if I can only find one. Uh, I'm not going to look super super hard right right now. Like if I don't find one kind of soon, then I will just kind of keep an eye out for it. Maybe in this bit here. See, the commercial buildings right now, everything is in the Chicago style, but I think uh, some of the buildings carry over to all three styles. I'm not sure. No, maybe it's the industrial ones that don't change. Okay, we're just looking for a pizza. I know I know the building he's talking about. It, it's got the spinny pizza thing. Oh, there's still landfill there. Hilarious. I wonder if that landfill is, like, too close to the road or something. I don't know. Anyway, it'll go away eventually. God, I'm probably like looking straight at like if you guys are watching the video, you're like, there's the pizza, there's a pizza. Oh, there's one. Got it. Make it historical, and we're gonna call it Pizza Planet. Um, some of these buildings, I mean, we might almost kind of totally forget about them, but if I if I just happen to like hover the mouse over it, then we'll be like, oh yeah, there's Pizza Planet. Remember that? Uh, yeah. So there's that. One of the things that's really cool about this game actually uh, is that the number of parking lots. Uh, I believe, and I'm not sure about this, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the more, like, buses you have, the more people drive, the more parking lots appear around commercial buildings and apartments and stuff like that. As the city gets, like, denser, uh, and people use transit more and walk more, there are, there are I believe, less parking lots, which is kind of cool. Um, if you live in one of those North American cities where they, like, they, like, took down a bunch of old buildings in the 70s and replaced them with parking lots, uh, and now they're starting to like rebuild, uh, you know, buildings on the parking lots instead of having these em empty, off, uh, awful parking lots. Anyway, that's the thing. Um, also, he also recommended, and this is something I was planning on doing anyway, Raphael also recommended that I name a nightclub Rob's Red Hotspot, which I think is a great idea. Uh, I think that I'm going to find us uh, probably maybe a theater. There's a few theaters around here. Um, yeah, maybe up here. Yeah, I think that Rob's Red Hotspot is going to be... This is going to be a theater. So this is actually a cinema, but, you know, it'll be like a theater that's converted into a nightclub. If you, you've ever been to a cinema that's been converted into a nightclub, it's, it's a thing. It happens pretty often. Um, and I think that... That's good for now. I think that Rob, Rob's Red Hotspot is, is going to expand, and I think they're going to get into radio and TV and and all sorts of uh, all sorts of stuff. And pretty soon there'll be a big office tower downtown called Rob's Red Hotspot. You know, such as the uh, corporate world of SimCity 4. Uh, right now, uh, I'm going to go. I think. Oh yeah, one more in this in this um, one more in this map. Uh, I bet his name is Taken, the username recommended uh, that I name a neighborhood Bra City, uh, which I will do. It is going to be the student ghetto of the university, uh, which I think 
should probably be kind of just immediately around the university here. It'll be kind of a, a micro neighborhood. Uh, and it will be a combination of dense. I want to do a combination of dense uh, residential. Let's just make it medium for now. Maybe we'll upzone it later. Yeah. We're going to stick with that. And yeah, I know student housing right by, uh, right next to uh, industry. It's a, it's a thing. But you know what? This is, uh, this is not a, a paradise city, and uh, the university kids are old enough to, you know, I don't know, go to school beside a factory. Um, let's see here. All right, I don't know why I was doing checking that. Of course, I've put, uh, of course, I've put in. I should probably put a bus station here. Here we are. Yes, that makes sense. That is a good spot for a bus station. And I should probably put one here as well. Yes. Tell you what. Boom. One last factory. All right. I'm not going to... I will rezone. I will, I will rezone some of this stuff at some point, for sure. Uh, that, i got to name that. So that's going to be Bra City, which is the... Probably a nickname for the... For the... Uh, the student neighborhood around the university, and maybe it'll expand. And you know what? I will rezone that. I will re rezone this residential because it's going to be crazy. Uh, that's good. Sweet. And what else? What else? What else? Okay. I'm going to go next door quickly because I have... What is it? Yeah, Dusty Street to do. And then we'll come right back here, and I'm going to do a few... I'm going to make a few changes uh, to Plantation Bay City. I have few ideas about uh, where to go with the city from here. Yeah, so as you can see, this this does take a bit of time, uh, you know, naming these naming these neighborhoods and everything. So I, I may do it off screen and just show you what I've done, uh, because otherwise I don't want like I don't want the first like 20 minutes of every episode to be me just naming things from comments. But yeah, maybe I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, dusty streets, dusty streets. Uh, I I, I want to make it kind of a main street. Let's let's call this one Dusty Street. Yeah, that's a it's kind of a main east west. I don't even know east west. Where is the compass? Oh, this is actually a north south street. It gets confusing when you rotate the map. Uh, that's the the thing about these isometric games. Dusty streets. And that's a pretty long street. Let's drop a let's drop the name over here. Dusty streets. And over here, Dusty Street. Cool. Yeah. So again, um, if you guys, uh, if if you guys want to leave comments, you know, maybe subscribe to the channel, leave a leave a comment uh, if you want to name a street uh, or a park or anything, and it doesn't have to be super creative. I'm, I'm not. Obviously, if I get like an overwhelming number of responses, uh, I'm gonna have to sort of sift and sort through them to some degree. But for now, it's manageable. So, so, and there's so much stuff to name in this game that unless I get like hundreds of, of comments, I probably won't. I probably won't be like picking and choosing. Like, if you want to name something, you'll get something named. So yeah, uh, let's go back to the main city, and then we are gonna go back to Inner Bay as well. Uh, let's actually take a look at the region view actually. So. We've got Plantation Bay last episode expanded the residential area here. We can see that it's 215,000 in the city, 325,000 in the region. Um, we haven't expanded here, we haven't expanded there. Uh, I think we need to put in place some infrastructure like bridges and stuff. Start thinking about that because that's what's going to allow us to expand there for sure. Um, Obviously, I'm going to want to put uh, residential around the, the kind of big commercial street there, or possibly more commercial. So I'll think about that as well. Um, but I don't think we have any demand for residential, so I'm not going to zone any more of that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What? Let's just go in. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I could maybe fix up that park a bit. Uh, I should probably get rid of... I'll get rid of some of these these things I put as well at some point. Um, let's, let's put in a little bit of commercial there, and I guess we'll just extend the park. Yeah, I often use these kind of open grass area type things. You know what I wanted to do here, actually? 
is I wanted to... Do we have a city hall in this town yet? We do not. We also... Oh, we have the main library. Yeah, so this is going to be kind of a central park, but it's also going to have some kind of institutions. So let's do that. Let's... Uh, what is this? This is three by four? Yeah. I think I have a mod on the city hall that makes it look kind of weird, so we'll see. We'll see. I think I might have that, like, growable city hall mod or something. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. Something There's something up I've noticed with the city hall model that there's, like, one of the mods I have, like, changes the trees on it, and every once in a while I'll build one and get this, like, giant tree. So, yeah, that's a thing. All right, um, main library branch, for sure. It's just such an awesome building. Uh, where do I want to put it, though? This could be cool. Yeah, let's do it this way. I got an idea. So this is, again, 3 by 4 So this is kind of like a civic square. Uh, there it is. And then what I'm going to do is... Yeah, there's a dumpster up back of it. That's hilarious. The details in this game, man. The details. Um, what I'm going to do is this is going to be like plaza type skinniness. This is sort of skinny little plaza here. Uh, let's do this. And maybe a park. Uh, one of the kind of more concrete type plaza type parks. What do we got here? Flower garden, medium plaza. Let's do that. Oh. Oops. Mm, nope. There we are. There we are. God, I, the one thing I will say is that <laughs> palm trees, pines, anything goes. Uh, that's a bit, it's a bit crazy to have. I, I, you know, honestly, and if any of you know of, of this, let me know, but I would love a mod that gets rid of the palm trees. Uh, that turns all the palm trees into other trees, because, like, I'm either making a tropical city, or I'm making, like, a northern, a kind of, like, northeastern North American city, or... And, yeah, no, it'd be nice to have, like, something that, that got rid of the stuff that makes... I haven't been using any palm trees, uh, and I, I won't be for this city. But, yeah, it'd be nice to have something that, uh, that kind of unifies the trees. A mod for that would be great. Uh, let's see here. Let's just put a couple of maple trees in there. And then for this part of the park... Uh, what do, what do we got here? We gotta, I gotta try and be, oh, we can do just one of these guys, yeah, one of these guys, one of these, uh, these, these pawns here, yeah, let's put a pawn right in the middle. There. And I think I'll leave it at that for now, to be honest. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit of a shame how the grass texture for the, the open grass area doesn't match the grass texture of the, whatever, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, and let's put some trees back here. Kind of a few oak trees, maple trees. There we go. And that'll be kind of a little lush central area behind all this these buildings. Loving it. All right. Uh, let's while I'm here, just fix this mess. Um. What else? What else? What else? Uh, I want to build bridges. I didn't. I never. Okay. We still got a few power plants there, so that's. We're starting to move them there, and we're starting to replace the coal ones by oil. Uh, I think there's two things I need to do before we go next door. One is to build bridges, and the other is to... What I'd like to do is I'm going to change the architectural style in this city now. So we're going to do this. We're going to take that one off. And yeah, we're going to go into a whole new phase of construction. I feel like the there's a certain era that, that we've come to an end to in this city, and we'll, 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 uh, we'll switch over styles. Okay. I'm not going to do it for the other cities yet. So this is where I want to do the bridge, and to be honest, I wish that this street, I wish that this street was kind of lined up with, I should have thought of that, like I don't want to do a bridge here, it's just stupid. Uh, I wish that I had made one of the streets that actually goes to the bridge, but anyway, it's, it's going to be an avenue bridge, uh, because I want, bridges are kind of choke points, and I want to have more capacity, so yeah, I'm going to delete part of Cameron here the neighborhood of Cameron. Uh, I'm just going to make space. Uh, let's just let's just do that. And I'll fix those zones afterwards. We need to raise the terrain for sure. If anything gets deleted in the process, it'll just get rebuilt later. 
flatten it out a bit. I don't know if that's going to be enough. And we need to figure out where the span goes. This probably won't even work. I've probably haven't done enough. Oh, it works. Okay, uh, I need to raise the terrain on the other side. So it was like there. It's a bit tricky. Again, with the isometric view, it's a bit tricky to sort of see where you're going. Uh, let's flatten that out a bit. I, I'm pretty rough with that stuff. I know, like, I see some people play this game and they're like super precise about how they um, how they do the elevation and everything, and they use those like digging tools and stuff like that. And like, yeah, I'll, I'll fool around with it at some point to like show you guys. That's kind of cool, but I'm not doing it. Bridge into tunnel kind of thing. It's very cool. Uh, let's see what we can get for bridges here. Oh, I should zoom out. Can I zoom out? Yes. Okay. Uh, we've got. Wow. We can got. Uh, we can do the. Uh, what is that? Uh, Pont Alexandre. I think is that in Paris. I'm not sure. Um. <laughs> cool. Um. I don't want to use any of the weird. No, um. Maybe that one. I don't want to use any of the uh, the ones that come from the network add-on mods. Mostly because. Oh wait. Can we? Oh no. Uh, do I have to? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do more work here. Make it fit. Basically, basically, we need to raise the terrain more to make it high enough. Okay. At least I kind of know where I'm going here. Um, we're also probably gonna have to do a little work on the adjoining terrain to sort of make it make sense. Oof, that's quite high. Okay. Uh, that should be good. That should be high enough. I'm gonna probably make a huge mess here, but this is why it's good to do these things when you have money. Like we've got like a million dollars in the city. Uh, probably going to. Oops, that's not what I intended to do there. Probably going to like kind of raise the terrain a bit there and angle so that it doesn't like we don't have this like precipitous hill on the other side of the bridge. Do the same thing here. Oof, I'm really not doing a good job of that. Uh, let's see. Not a huge fan of the terrain, the terrain uh, tools, and I know there are better ways to do this, but whatever. All right, one avenue bridge coming right up. Please be long enough, or high enough. I mean, yeah, sweet. Uh, yes, yeah, seventeen thousand dollar bridge. Wow. Okay. Cool with that. Oh, now I fucked. Uh. That's also bad. Okay, I can live with that. Uh, once again, uh, bridges are a great are a great uh, target for for naming. If you want to contribute a name for this bridge I've just built, feel free. Uh, what do I? How do I want to do this? Like that. I know that's going to be a bit of a bottleneck. Uh, we will increase the capacity of. We will uh, increase, increase the capacity of the road network as needed. Just going with a kind of minimalist approach here. And zone this back to residential as it was. This was going... Oh, that's not what I want. I want this one. This was going here. So that's good. We have a bridge across there. There's one other... Oh, I got to finish the other side of it. Uh, I think what makes sense here is we're just going to go like this, and then I'll, so that we, next time we go over there, we'll know what we're doing. And we'll go like this. Cool. Yep. Yep, that's cool. Not It's not a bridge that's going to get a lot of use right now, but it will. It will soon. It will soon. Um, I'm not building a bridge here. That span is too long. I'll build a bridge there much, much, much later. Uh, there's two spots that, well, no, yeah, no, I think that the key, the key place is here, actually. I think that's really where, where we want, want a bridge, it's a short span. And I think we should upgrade the whole, I think we should upgrade the whole thing here to an avenue. Hmm, it's gonna be a bit messy to do, but I will do it. Uh, what? We gotta check and see what we're deleting here. That's a police station, okay. Mm, yeah, let's just do... Go back to zone view. And we gotta check and make sure we're not, like, 
demolishing any. We we're also we're gonna need to redo this connection probably. I'm gonna start by making this road make sense. Uh, so we'll just dezone that. Anything else in my in my way? No. Okay. Maybe I should just delete that to be safe. Five. Yeah. Okay. Everything looks okay. Let's start by just putting the avenue in, and then we'll deal with the bridge after. I think I I believe that the network out on mod does something to make those the bridges work a little bit better. Question is, that's looking good. The question is, can I plug this road in here? Uh, that's so annoying. Okay, there's got to be a way to do it. I think what we want to do is, yeah, I'm fine with that. Again, maybe this will be upgraded to an avenue. Maybe that whole tunnel will be widened at some point. But for the time being, it's just going to be a bit of a. There's going to be some of that. Like uh, this is how I like to, you know, this is how I like to build things. Like, like, uh, you know, when when cities when cities like expand their infrastructure, they don't always do it in this like systematic way that's going to make everything work and make perfect sense, right? They it takes time. It takes time to, to for the you know you you get one avenue that's like higher capacity and then takes a while before the street network around it is is expanded in a way that makes it like you can actually take advantage of that so yeah uh, this has got to go and I think what's gonna happen here I, I must remember to put that police station back uh, I'm just gonna dezone this whole area because it's gonna get in the way uh, what we're gonna do here is actually let me just delete this temporarily and this is going to I didn't raise the other side. Oh, it is kind of already raised. No, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, uh, I don't care. I'm just going to see what it looks like. And it's high enough for ferries. Okay, fine with that. It's a bit steep there, but that's fine. I can fiddle with the height of it at a later point. Mm, we already have one of those. We already have one of those. Mm, that's. I like that one, actually. Let's go with this one. This one looks a bit funny on a, such a small bridge. I think this one kind of looks better on a... Like, it looks like it's not high enough outside of the water. It looks like there should be, like, a pillar there or something. I don't know. It's always looked weird to me, that one. This one looks good, though. The uh, over-deck truss bridge. Let's do it. And then this is going to join up here. Yeah. And this... Remember we said Roger Avenue? Well, let's say that Roger Avenue extends here. I think that's fun. It kind of like crosses the city from east to west and extends all the way through this tunnel. Yeah, that's cool. And we'll say that it like ends at University Circle and we can give this avenue another name. Or this avenue's this avenue's Metropolitan Avenue. Very, very cool. That's actually perfect. This is a very good candidate for like road expansion later. We can like upgrade it and then it'll be like an avenue throughout all the way to University Circle there. And yeah, I'm liking that idea. So I'll stick down a label on this side just so I remember. Oh, no, wrong one. It's this one that I want. Mm, this side as well. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so it's like a long avenue that like bends here and goes there and we'll say that this here is actually just kind of its own streets. I like that idea. I like that idea. Okay. Um I'm also thinking that we should do this. Yeah. God, that would be an awkward intersection to sit at. <laughs> I should probably fix that. But I really should. Can I if I like do a Oh, that's that's better. Much better. Ish. And I probably can't do it here, can I? No. Uh, it's better. It's not great. This is this is not uh, not very nice, but whatever. I will I will fiddle with it. And I, even if I need to like rebuild the bridge, I just what I don't want to do is just spend a bunch of time fiddling with 
um, like placement on screen. Right, right. So that's two bridges. Uh, we changed the style to the New York style, so it'll uh, it'll build in the in this new style of building. Uh, I really think that the most pressing concern is to is to satisfy the medium and high tech demand. Uh, I'm gonna delete some of those. I'll do it later. Like this crap, I'll delete it. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll keep it because I do need to be reminded that things need to be named. So we built the park. We built some bridges. That's all that uh, we're doing in Plantation Bay City for now. Uh, I want to. We've got a huge industrial demand, and I want to go next door and see see what that looks like to satisfy it. We already have forty thousand industry here. Yeah, so we definitely want more industry here. I want to expand the port. I want to. Uh, like I'd like, I'd love to have this port just kind of go the whole length of this and all the way over here and just be a crazy port city. Um, oof, we're getting some uh, no jobs there. Interesting. Let's uh, let's run the clock a bit. I don't think there's any police in this city. I'll deal with that later. Let's run the clock a bit. See what builds up. Got lots of. Uh, I'm not really into high tech industry yet. I don't. I don't. I don't want any high tech in my city yet. I just don't. Um, I can try and make sure this zone kind of develops to some degree of maturity. We're making money, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I will. I will give them police because we're just making money hand over fist. So, uh, large police station. What do we got here? Do we have any? None. Hilarious. I always forget to build police stations. There you go. Uh, there. There. Very occasionally you'll get like that riot event. It just doesn't happen very often, so I always forget that it even happens. Like, there is like an event that's kind of like a fire where it's a riot and it spreads. Oh yeah, I forgot we these avenues extended all the way over here. So yeah, we've got the bones of a city. I think that the industrial area here is going to go all the way up to that avenue. I think that's the that's the plan. All right, up we go. Uh, what happens? Okay, that's that's already built. This is going to be all streets. I'll just start with this block here, this this big kind of super block of industry. And what else? Uh, I want to do like this, and then we will build something, maybe two more blocks in here, like this, and like this. It's kind of square, skimpy little blocks for an industry, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going with high density right away. It's going to uh, it's going to cost us in terms of water and. Uh, yeah, we need some water, uh, water cleaning and stuff in this city for sure. But yeah, we're going heavy, heavy industry, and we will solve any problems that come up as they come up. Looks good to me. We need bus stops. I feel like my game is lagging a bit here. No, it's okay. All right. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I put bus stops on every block there. That's okay. I'll put them here on every block for sure, and then I want them here on every block. Oh, fuck! There's a um, there's a transit line there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we will be putting maybe one. We'll just delete that one. Yeah, and then that will be a that will be a station as well. Okay. So like one station there and one station there. That's fine. Oh, and I deleted a factory by mistake. I also forgot to replace that police station in in Foundation Bay City. So just lol about it, I guess. Um, okay, this one is a major avenue, so I'll give it more bus stops for sure. Uh, what else? What else? What else? This is the spot that I need one, not this one. Okay. Uh, it's got water, it's got probably needs fire. 
let's just uh, let's let it build. Let's get those transit stations in. Yeah, it's really uh, it's funny, you know. You run this game on a modern computer, and and whenever you're zoomed out like that, as your city starts to get bigger, it, it still just it still just runs like shit. Like, I I know I can choose which core, like how many cores I use or whatever, and and, and I should look at that at some point. I should uh, I've been poking around a lot on Centropolis and stuff, and should definitely think about um, you know what can be done in terms of making the game run smoother. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, another. If I don't know if you guys have seen my tutorial videos, um, but I'm gonna do another tutorial. I'm gonna do more videos for that series soon, uh, and more more about like modding and, you know, kind of tips for working out some of the kinks in the vanilla version of the game. There 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 are parts of the game that are broken, like the seaports, which I've mentioned several times, and there are there are ways to fix it. Um, so let's let's go. Let's build. Oh yeah, love those huge factories. We're also getting some high tech. It's not such a bad thing. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out of my way to get high tech for sure though. It's just not uh I'm not uh gonna bother with that. We we seem to have like an almost un like unlimited industrial demand here. Yeah, the high tech is going uh is going is turning to shit right away, obviously. Uh these are not used at capacity. I think this one's at its max growth stage. Oh yeah, there was some question of like bringing railroad tracks down here or something. Hmm. Interesting idea. I also I want to do I want to do a rail viaduct. I keep forgetting. Uh, let's look at the water pollution in this city because we're gonna have to start to manage that, and we're running out of power as well. So, uh, do we have a negative demand for dirty? We do. So if I delete, if I put a water plant, if I like to use the water treatment plants to to get rid of some of the dirty. So yeah, that'll do it. And yeah, we need more power plants. The city's only 40 years old, so I unfortunately don't think I can delete any of this. I need to I need to be a bit smarter about power plant placement. Oh yeah, I've got, I've, I started building them over here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's build another coal plant. Probably gonna need Two even. Yeah, see, we always unlock, like, these are unlocked based on how much power you produce for the whole city, so they always get unlocked in these big industrial cities first. Hydrogen power plant. Um, yep, looking good. We do not have, like, a bunch of money to spare in the city, so I can't go fucking around with uh, nuclear power plants and stuff. I'd like to like use up that medium industry demand to be honest. Uh Okay. Um I guess we'll I guess we'll continue over here and just zone more industry. I know it's going to be I know it's a lot. It's a lot of industry and, and we may have to change the nature of this neighborhood. Uh this is really going to be the main industrial neighborhood in the city. We may have to change its zoning later and kind of reduce the amount of industry, but for now, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go no holds barred, tons of industry. Yeah, I'm definitely turning some of these this these rail lines into definitely turning some of these rail lines into uh, rail viaducts, the stone arch rail viaduct. Uh, from the network out on mod is like really cool looking and and it's it kind of fits very elegantly into a dense city bus stops I put them every block I'm trying to now I was kind of doing it in a very chaotic way um, in the first few episodes of this city I'm trying now to put one bus stop on every block on the major streets, and then kind of every second block on the minor streets. So that's the idea. Did I put the right stations here? Yes. Uh, this is a good place to build to continue to build industry too, because we've already got the transit line built. Like we've already got the transit line in place there. Oh yeah, this one does that, so we can build a residential neighborhood here, and they can either go to work here or go to work there. Cool. 
a uh, few more bus stops. Just gonna do this. Good enough. And starting to fill out the bottom of this tile nicely. It's gonna create a lot of residential demand. Oh god, we don't even have enough money to zone all this, do we? Uh, I, I can't do that. That's a bad idea. I gotta, uh, I gotta run the city a bit longer. How are we doing on money? Fine. Okay, this I can now afford. Just do that. Just do it one block at a time. Of course, of course, it's just one tile too big, which is kind of hilarious. Yeah, I cut off that power line in the other city. I wonder if I left. Uh, I wonder if I left Plantation Bay City unplugged. That would be rather silly. Probably would have noticed. Okay, I got to be careful because I'm gonna need more, more power plants. So I just I can't let that go. That's a really cool building. It's high tech. Wow. Oh, this is from a mod. Deadwoods. I don't. I I could, had totally forgotten that I added that. Very, very cool. Welcome to our research and development facility. We have a team of overworked and underpaid PhDs pumping out patents by the dozen. I'd like to tell you what we're working on, but it's a secret. Hmm? Interesting. I had totally, I was like, I don't remember seeing that building before in the vanilla game. And then I'm like, well, that's a mod. There are mods. I, I, I do have mods uh, in, uh... oh God. I just, I just said I had to wait before I did that. I'm gonna end up taking another loan in this city. Really? Okay, we're good. We're making lots of money, so that's good. Uh, yeah, and then let's just zone this. I just want to let this build up. Okay, you know what? We've used up all of our demand for manufacturing industry. So uh, I will at some point come back and, well, thing is what I'd like to do is actually get the high tech industry to develop in the central city. So that's kind of why I'm not really fostering it here. But yeah, um, yeah, so, so that's, we've, we've built up a huge amount of commercial demand and residential demand, which is great. Uh, the question is, and I think this will go to next episode because we're probably hitting time here. Uh, I want to pop out to the regional view soon and just kind of take a look. Uh, I mean now, not soon. I'm going to pop out to the regional view and go back to Plantation Base City. And maybe we'll just run the clock for a second here and see how that demand looks from all that, that manufacturing industry that just built up. Definitely lots of commercial demand. Yeah, and... Room for more, uh, yeah, we're starting to get those skyscrapers coming up. Look at that. Build, build, build. Anyway, uh, I will come back to this next episode. If you enjoy the video, hit the, hit the thumbs up like button. And uh, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you want to name a neighborhood in this city or a square or a street or really anything, Leave a comment with uh, with a name idea, and I will happily I will happily name this park or this bridge or or I don't know this neighborhood after uh, after your name. Also, if I forgot any names um, from comments, if I missed them, uh, I I'll look o I'll look it over again. I I'm try I'm trying to get them all, but if I forget anything, you know, feel free to just like leave another comment or send me a message by some other means and and just let me know. I I will. I will name stuff based on your comments. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.